First location to report severe damage. We're talking about the community of Kelowna in St. Charles Parish. WG knows Amy Russo joins us where some people are describing unrecognizable damage. Amy. Yeah, Kurt, that tornado moved through Kelowna pretty fast. However, it really beat down on the area. We're here at Schoolhouse Road where this is where a bulk of that damage really is. Go ahead and take a look at your screen. Here's a closer look at that damage with video we got earlier today. You can see homes were destroyed, trailers even flipped on top of others, fences ripped from the ground, trees snapped in half, debris flying miles from one end of the parish to the other. I'm told it all happened around 2 30 this afternoon. That's when parish officials sounded the alarm to take cover. When given the all clear, deputies had to chainsaw through trees on some of these side streets as search and rescue efforts were underway. But for one family, it was too late. It's a mess. It's going. I have to start all over. It's just a mess. And I lost my godmother in a storm. So yeah, it's just a mess. She was the best person. She was nice. She was lovable. She was friendly. She would help anybody like she was just a sweet person. I'm told around 10 homes were heavily damaged by the tornado. Tomorrow, crews will continue surveying damage. In the meantime, the United Way and Red Cross are on standby to help those who need it. And this is an area that was also hit particularly hard by Hurricane Ida. A lot of these trailers behind me that you're seeing are actually FEMA trailers people were using to get their feet back on the ground. Tonight, they tell me they feel like they're stuck back at square one. Kurt. Unbelievable. All right. Thank you, Amy.